morning. Today is another day. Let's get to it. <laughs> Gotta finish getting dressed and then I'm gonna make my new favorite thing for breakfast, which is cabbage and eggs mixed together with a little bit of water and fry it. Um, it reminds me of something I used to get at the Chinese buffet back um, in my hometown. So I'll show you how I make that. Also this morning, I'm going to cook some potatoes in the fire. This is a mixture between basil, oregano, and garlic salt. So I'm going to make a drink, I'm going to use maybe the rest of this, I'm not sure. And then I'm going to put in some semi-sweet chocolate bits. They don't dissolve, but I like eating the melted chocolate out of the drink. And then I'll put some of this horrid instant coffee and maybe some powdered milk. The chocolate's all melted now. It tastes so good. Mm. Yum. There's antelope. Looking at us. Oh, dang it. That's okay. So they might get away. They're so pretty. They're looking at us. Oh, what are you? <laughs> I scared you. You're just blind. I think, it's okay. I think there's six. Hold on. There they go. So they said that we could park on the road and that we don't have to pay the $5 fee to get in because we don't have current recreation passes or a national park pass or a national forest pass. Yeah. We heard about this last weekend. It's an agave tasting thing. And there's some petroglyphs here too. house, the chimney. Apparently they did a land trade with the National Forest in 1994 and this house was built in 1901. Do you know what's happening? Yeah, the, so they did, an, they roasted agave hearts, they started on Tuesday oh. and they just pulled them out. So the way that they roast them is they put the leaves in, they put a big fire, they put the leaves and then they um, put the 
hearts, and the hearts are over there. They're weighing them right now. They weighed them before, and they're weighing them after. And you can eat them once you roast them. They've been roasting for four days. So they're just, now they're just pulling the leaves out because there's parts that you can eat on the ends. And then also, like, you can take the fibers and make stuff out. So they're going to take anything that's not burned over to that spot over there. And then they're going to recover this up and put the dirt back in. And save it for next year? Yeah, so that hopefully they'll do it again next year. They haven't done it for about eight years for some reason, but they're going to try to do it every year, I think. So it's, it hasn't happened for a while. It's exciting. It hasn't been eight yeah. years they've done it. So. Nice. Yeah, we heard about it last weekend, and we didn't realize this was um, V Bar V days. Oh, yeah. We thought it was just about agave. Oh. So, yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. Thank you. I think that's what they pulled out of the fire pit. It's their favorite food. They're making shell jewelry. Oh. Question. Um, do you know anything about the plant life around here? Um, I'm not one of the plant experts, but what do you need to know or what, what would you like to know? There's these little yellow berries. Um, those wild? Things? Yeah, I believe those are just like the wild, uh, it's called a tomatillo. Okay. It's a, a, a relative uh, of the tomato. That's, that's uh, my understanding. Okay. So tomatillo is called in Spanish. Okay. A little, a little, a little tomato is what it means. Little tomato. That's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, can you eat them? That's, I, 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 I wouldn't. I don't know. Because tomatoes are nightshades. So yeah. You don't right. Make a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, oh. That would be my thought. Thank okay. you. Tomatillo. This is a nice teepee. Wow. That looks pretty comfortable. It does. That lamp out. Well. You can see inside. Yeah. Is this all your collection? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is this made out of plastic? Yeah, it is. It's made out of yeah. small spark. Oh. Maybe you see, like. Yeah, but they didn't have plastic back then. No. They used a, uh, they heat, heat it in hot water, and they used a uh, form that clamped on it to make the bowl, oh. and then trim it out. That's a comb made from horn. With the little salt containers or whatever, spices made from the horn. These are just the horn with plugs in it. Like a, it becomes pliable once it's heated up. Uh -huh. Wow. I don't know. Hot water or hot oil. Uh -huh. They take horns and flatten them so that they could carry powder in their bags instead of carrying a powder horn. Again, it was pliable once it was heated and then it would cool. And so this would be a fancy one. Yeah, a fancy one. It's been scraped to give that pattern to it. Nice. They'd do that, they'd make patterns, or they'd do scrimshaw work in them. But if they were artistic, they'd write on them. They would. Uh, to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a bar of lead. Shepherding? Uh, no, for uh, to melt into round balls. Oh, okay. Or into a mold. Oh, okay. Shoot well, eat well. Are these yours? Mm -hmm. You've done them? Are you just sheet shopping all your knives with some flint? or? Well, with an oil stone. What you're looking at here is to give you an idea of who we are and what we do. We represent two groups, the Arizona Powderhorn Clan and the Les Miserable Primitives. We research the lifestyle of the early American frontiersmen from about 1750 to 1840. Okay. We reproduce their clothing, other tools and equipment that they would have had. And then we go off on anywhere from weekend to month long or more wilderness trips either on foot, horseback, snowshoes, or in canoes, birch bark canoes, just living that particular lifestyle. And then if you have any questions on any of it, just feel free to, to ask. So this is all reproduced, and then you 
You've used we it. Use it. Okay. We've used the way that it was intended. This, I don't know what this is. It looks really interesting. Okay. These are candles. Oh. Okay. So when you're out there, there's no stores to go buy candles, and you, you make your candles while you're out there. Mm -hmm. And the way you do that is that I carry a tin, just an old Band-Aid can is all it is. But as I'm cooking meat and I'm getting, you know, drippings from meat and all of that or beeswax, whatever I have, I will just collect it in this can.